The Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint is at a five and a half furlongs this year. And Jeff Siegel, I'm sensing a little bit of girl power in amongst this field in here. What are your thoughts on this year's edition? My thoughts are they're going to run one, two, three. Now, I don't wow. know what order they are, but we've <laughs> got glass power. slippers from Europe. We've also got Alexandra, the Australian Brit, and then got Stormy, the American representative. They're all very, very good. I'm going to go with the one from overseas, Glass Slippers on top, primarily because she is 12-1 to 1 on the morning line. She won the Prix de la Abbe last year, and then most recently this year she was beaten the next. So she's informed all six of her wins have come between August and October. So she is a fall performer. And her last race, although she was beaten at, at uh, Longchamp uh, in this race uh, on Arc Day, I thought she ran very, very well. Now, she's a turf sprinter, and usually the European turf sprinters are up against it against the Americans, but this one's got good speed. She's not a slowpoke. She can lay fairly close. She can also finish. Now, she falls short here, beating the neck as the favorite over very, very heavy ground that I'm not sure she liked. But she is fresh, sharp, and able to stay fairly close to what I think will be a moderate pay. I think Glass Slip is going to chance to pull off a surprise sometimes we've seen these euro sprinters they run straight over mm -hmm. there this time she's got to go left-handed how do you feel about that she's never been i don't know mm -hmm. but maybe it'll help her who knows she'll tuck in right behind the leaders and make a run but you think the winner might come from way back i picked another girl but it's not that one it's <laughs> alessandra yes this six-year-old there she was six one hundredths off the course record when she came out of the Jai Purse stakes. She's got a wicked turn of foot. And if you go back and watch the replay, uh, Joelle Rosario was on her. She didn't get away from the gate well, and she had to really use that turn of foot in order to win. So she's four and a half months on the sidelines, coming into the race fresh. It's a little bit of a concern. Hey, Neil Drys don't want to breathe his cup for me back in 89 with prize. <laughs> I can vouch for it. He can do it. <laughs> well, you can go to our free Breeders' Cup wager guide by downloading it at first.com slash bet. Picks and strategies from all the experts. Last of the 12.